This problem asks us to find the horizontal and vertical forces that the hinge exerts on the bar. I'll call those Rx and Ry. Let's notice first that we have a 3, 4, 5 triangle, so this leg must have a length of 3 meters. Now we can draw the free body diagram for the bar and apply the conditions of equilibrium. Rx and Ry act at the top end of the bar, at point B. At the bottom end, force F pushes horizontally, and the normal force is directed vertically upward. The conditions for equilibrium tell us that if we sum the forces, x and y, they equal zero, and if we sum the torques about any point on the bar, they also equal zero. In the x direction, there are two forces, so we have the force F minus the x component of that hinge force equaling zero, which tells us that Rx equals the force F. That's 220 newtons. In the y direction, we have the normal force directed up minus the y component of the reaction force, telling us that Ry equals the normal force N. We don't know the normal force, but we can find it by summing torques. I'll sum torques about the top end of the bar, point B, and call torques out of the screen to be positive. Notice first that Rx and Ry exert no torque about point B because they act through that point. So we just need to calculate the torques due to the force F and the normal force N. Let's do the force F first. Here's its R vector. Putting the right hand fingers in that direction and curling them towards the force F shows that the torque is positive. The right hand thumb is directed out of the screen with a force of F and a moment arm of 4 meters. That's the shortest distance between this line of action and the pivot, the length of this vertical blue line. For the normal force, the R vector goes from the pivot to the point where the force is applied, with the right hand fingers along that vector and curled upwards in the direction of N, the right hand thumb points into the screen, showing we have a negative torque with a force of N and a moment arm of 3 meters the shortest distance between this line of action and the pivot, the length of this horizontal blue line. So we can solve for the normal force. It equals 4 thirds times the horizontal force F, which is 220 newtons, so the normal force equals 293 newtons. This means that Ry, the vertical component of that hinge force, is also 293 newtons, and we know from before that Rx, the horizontal component, equals F, that's 220 newtons.